dementia is still going in the wrong direction. Um, it's a very distressing thing if you have any in your family. And increasingly, there's people saying, what can we do to prevent this? And Alzheimer's is all about there being the wrong sort of protein and deposits in the brain. But increasingly, the focus is switching on to the blood supply to the brain, what we call the vascular effects on the brain. And there's something that we used to call the blood-brain barrier, which you've probably heard of, which is seen to be the place where uh, the barrier that stops a lot of stuff entering the brain and potentially upsetting it. We now know this blood-brain barrier is a very dynamic, interesting interface between the brain's tissue and the rest of us. It's now called the neurovascular unit, NVU, and it is so exciting. And the more we look at it so far, the more we find that the things that help the neurovascular unit, the blood-brain barrier, are plants. And we have green tea. And, you know, we can, if we, if we really want to help um, our brain health, regular drinking of green tea, you know, it, it's been shown to be really useful. Not that rather than the supplement, by the way, is the drink that you have. So let's let's leave it for a moment. But what, uh, we can, while it's sitting there for a while, there are a number of these polyphenols in green tea that seem to be particularly effective in modulating that barrier that we talked about, the neurovascular unit between the brain and the rest of us. And um, uh, there's all sorts of reasons why regular consumption of green tea seems to be linked to less of this sort of trouble. What, what sort of trouble? The dementia-type problems, the cognitive decline as you get older. Do they find that in cultures where they drink a lot of green tea, they have less dementia? Yeah, but that doesn't mean there's a cause and effect. 